Here we go with number six from the uh, 2007 BC exam. And uh, this is a series question, um, which causes some people quite a bit of fear. Um, but it really shouldn't. So there's a couple that you need to have memorized. You need e to the x, you need sine of x, cosine of x, 1 over 1 minus x. Those are the ones you have to walk in with memorized, or uh, you're going to be in some trouble. Um, so the first thing I do is I write this one down in general. So I, I do it for e to the u. So e to the u is 1 plus u plus u squared over 2 factorial plus u cubed over 3 factorial, blah, 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 all the way to u to the n over n factorial, and then it keeps going because it's a series and it's infinite. Um, so in this case, I need to find... Um, uh, I'm going to replace all the u's with negative x squared. So I just do that, direct substitution, um, nothing too complicated. So I need the first four non-zero terms, and I need the general terms. That's what I've written out. Um, so the next thing, I'm going to simplify this a little bit, um, you know, by using the uh, properties of exponents. So you can see that it's alternating, which is good, because if there's a question about error, I'll be able to use that fact. Um, and uh, that's what I get for f of x. So uh, that's my answer. Uh, let's move on to part b. So part b is we need to evaluate this limit where f of x is um, the series that we found above. Um, you could actually, I mean, it says that you need to use your answer to part A. You could have done this uh, with L'Hopital's rule a lot, I think. I didn't try it because it would probably be hideous because of the uh, product rule that ends up showing up pretty quickly. But anyway, uh, again, direct substitution. The series questions are almost always direct substitution questions. Uh, so we substitute in. Uh, we get to this point, now we're going to clean up a little bit. So you can see the uh, 1 and the minus 1 and the negative x squared and the plus x squared cancel. And uh, we're just left with pretty much what's in parentheses, but the signs have changed. So we have that. Um, keep going, now we're going to divide through by x to the fourth. It's kind of neat how this works out. Uh, it's a really nice application of these series. Um, so we have this, and now we can let x be 0 uh, with no problem whatsoever and we get negative one half, so that's our answer for that. Uh, the next question is uh, we're going to integrate the series, another really common thing to do. Um, so direct substitute for um, e to the negative t squared. So we're going to take our answer to, the, to part a, basically, um, but replace all the x's with t's. So it's the integral from 0 to x of uh, all of this stuff. And uh, in this case, we just need the first four non-zero terms. Um, so I put a plus dot dot dot. Going to integrate that with respect to t. So everything here is still t's. Um, and dot dot dot. Now I'm going to evaluate it from 0 to x. Uh, when I plug in 0, everything goes away. So really I'm just evaluating it at x, which uh, is just kind of like a change of variable, changing the way it's spelled, I guess. Um, to get this, plus dot dot dot. So that's my answer to that part. And then I'm supposed to evaluate the integral from 0 to 1 half um, using just the first two terms, or approximate it using just the first two terms. Um, so the integral from 0 to 1 half of e to the negative t squared dt would just be uh, the first two terms of what I got above with uh, 1 half plugged in. Not even going to simplify that. Um, I don't have to. Uh, so I'm going to leave that like that. And the next question, it turns out, is about error. So I have to show that the error is less than 1 over 200. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make sure that whoever's scoring this knows that I know that when x is 1 half we have an alternating series that converges. Uh, it converges by the alternating series test if you want to get into that. Um, so uh, the limit is 0 and the terms decrease. Um, and it's alternating. Uh, but anyway, therefore, the error is less than the first term that we left off. And in this case, that's 1 over 5 times 2 factorial times 1 half to the fifth. Um, that's 1 over 10 times 1 over 32. So that's 1 over 320. And 1 over 320 is definitely less than 1 over 200. So we answered the question. Uh, no reason to be really afraid of the series questions as long as you uh, know what you're doing and uh, practice a little bit ahead of time. So I hope you found this helpful and good luck.